Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to manifest wealth and abundance. And a few years ago, I don't know if it was like a year, two years, three years ago, it feels like not that long ago, I felt like I really lacked wealth and abundance. Like I felt like I was, I wasn't struggling necessarily, but I just felt like I didn't have like any kind of wealth. <laughs> I felt like I didn't really have assets. I felt like I was just not doing well financially. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I was in a bad place with my money. But as soon as I kind of realized that and focused on building wealth and kind of put my mind to actually wanting to build wealth and wanting to build a better life for myself and wanting to grow my assets and all of these things, I feel like in a very short amount of time, I've like literally tripled my income and my assets and everything like that. And it's crazy to think how really small shifts in your mindset can really make a huge difference because that is truly what it comes down to is your mindset. I think people who grew up and struggled with money or saw their parents struggle with money, I think we tend to have like a negative um, money mindset and I think we tend to have limiting belief systems around money and I truly believe that is what's holding most people back more than anything else. And of course, I understand that it can be a lot more difficult for certain people depending on your circumstances. But I want to talk about the things that really helped me the most on my journey. And I hope that they will also help you as well. So the first thing that I did was I actually started to take a look at my expenses and my income and all of these things. And really looked at my finances, my personal finance. And that can be a really scary step for most people because when you're when you feel like you're not doing well, when you feel like you're behind or you just don't think that you have money, it can be kind of scary to look at your finances because then you feel like you're going to see how bad things actually are. But as like with everything in life, the first step to kind of getting better or improving is to take a look at where you are now. Like if you were going to start a weight loss journey or something like that, then your trainer would probably weight you and like measure your body measurements because you need to know if you're making progress or not and you need to be able to track your progress in order to know if you're improving or not. So that was the first thing and it's actually kind of a scary thing for a lot of people I think but it's so important if you want to improve you need to know exactly where you are right now. The second thing is to just focus on growing your money and growing your assets and kind of manifesting new streams of income, new streams of revenue into your life. And it sounds so like simple, you're probably like, what does that even mean? But everything that you put your focus on will grow and expand. So it's the same thing with money and wealth and finance. If you focus on like new ways where you can make money, where you can increase your revenue, where you can have multiple sources of income, then your mind will just find ways to make it happen. If you set that as a goal for yourself, then your mind will naturally look out for opportunities, people, connection, anything that's gonna get you there. So it's important to kind of have goals in mind and to have like an idea of where you wanna be. It doesn't have to be super specific, but like I said, anything that you put your mind to will grow. So kind of put your focus on expanding and growing your assets and building your wealth. And I think that like first additional source of income is one of the most important one <laughs> because so let's say you have your job and you make money from that. That's like your first source of income. Then the second source of income that comes into your life, I think is the most important source because it really proves to you. It just affirms that it is possible. And once you have that second source of income, even if it's like super small, it just makes you realize that your job is not the only place that money can come from and it's that mindset shift that's gonna really change everything and it's gonna make you feel like you just want to keep adding multiple sources of income because now you see that it is really possible. The third thing that really helped me was just unraveling my limiting belief systems and breaking out of those and I think this could be one of the most difficult things to do because I had thought that I was already working on that. I thought that I was already doing so well um, as far as like breaking away from limiting belief systems. But recently, because I don't know if you guys know, but I have a second channel where I make like lifestyle content and I like have done a few sponsorships on that channel, but like not much. 
and I work with this one website and like this one um, person in particular who kind of helps me with all my campaigns for that website and I do a lot of like gifting campaigns which is basically where you don't get paid and then the other day I was like hey why don't I just like say to her like by the way if you have any like paid campaigns like that's available like please keep me in mind and I was so like nervous and scared to send that email because I was like oh this is like so uncomfortable this is so out of my comfort zone but I sent it and then immediately she was like yeah we totally have like two paid campaigns right now if you want to like work on them and all it took was me sending an email and I've been working with her for so so long and I have no idea why I like never sent that email so and it made me realize that it really was just my limiting belief system that was holding me back from asking for what I wanted and as soon as I asked I got what I wanted and it was just like I could have been doing this this whole time but the only thing that held me back was myself and then another example is sometimes I'll like reach out to brands and people don't like like this people don't like a lot of youtubers don't believe in this they're like don't do that like it's embarrassing or whatever I really don't care but sometimes I reach out to brands if I if they have a product that I'm interested in trying I'll just be like hi my name is blah like I have a youtube channel and I want to review your products like do you want to work with me and most of the times brands will just ghost me because they're like oh like no who is this girl and a lot of the times they'll respond and they'll be like yeah we'll like send you the product like no problem like send us the video when it's done and lately I've decided to start asking them to pay me <laughs> to review their products and the reason I didn't do that is because it's weird that I'm reaching out to them and then asking them to pay me because normally people pay you if they reach out to you first and then you tell them like your rate or whatever but recently I was just like you know what like I do a lot of work for these videos so I'm gonna just ask and if they say no it's fine and they actually were like yeah we'll like pay you and again, I could have been doing this this whole time. I could have been asking to get paid for my work, but I didn't. And the only reason I did is because of my belief system. And these two examples happened very recently, like within the past like two weeks. And it just really made me realize how deep my limiting systems went and how much it was really holding me back. And it made me question like if it was holding me back in this way. Like how else in my life could it have been holding me back? Could I have like turned down opportunities? Maybe I didn't apply to jobs that I could have actually gotten that would have paid me a lot more. And I think it's so, so important to address that because I think it runs deep and it's one of the things that will hold you back more than you could even imagine. So I think it's really important to work on that. Okay, that's it for today's little video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye!